So Shopify has updated their product uh, detail page in order to make it easier to enter products. I'm going to show you the difference between the old one and the new one. So if you were used to the old one, it's very easy to make the transfer over to the new one. So here on my screen here is the old one. I'm going to go over now to the new one. So the new one here um, basically moves titles around a little bit and cleans up the design just to make it a little easier for you to find things and make things a little bit more regular be available to you. Uh, when you are searching through the control panel. So to start off, we're going to go to uh, products. We've got a our product and we're going to add a new product. So our first item, uh, we're going to use the demo that they have is um, short sleeve t-shirt. And then we have our description like we normally have. This part for the most part hasn't changed. It's still the exact same editor as before. You can flip it over and you can see the HTML. You can do HTML code in here. So title. And then flip back over and it'll render it as you would. The big thing is that they've moved this over to a side panel. Um, most of the stuff down from below. So what we had before was show online, um, which is our visibility, is now up here where you can turn it on or off. Uh, organization, which used to fall underneath the product type and vendor here, has now moved over. It's now product type here, so we can give it a shirt. And the vendor, we're going to go Nike. Uh, these drop down menus are now um, dynamic, so as you add new things in here, they will show up below and it will show you the previous things that you had there before instead of a, a drop down menu. Collections. This will show you the collections that you had in the previous one. If we go back over to uh, this page, you can see that collections was originally um, down below, so they've moved it up onto the right hand side. Um, tags as well. Here are the tags that were uh, previously in the store. They have been moved from below where you can tag them in here. They're now on the right hand side. Uh, the big one uh, is theme templates. Um, before Templates wouldn't show up if you had uh, only one template assigned. Now they show up no matter what, and then you can select which one you want. So if I go to products, I only have one product template, but now theme templates is always visible. So it's a little less confusing um, to wondering why something's there and why something's not. It now will show you just the one that is available. Again, this still pulls from the active template. So if you have uh, more than one template in an inactive theme, it's only going to pull from the active theme for here. Uh, down below, the uploading images is like it used to be before, where you can just go and select an image. So say I wanted to grab a typography image here, I can upload an image and place it in there. Uh, you can change the alt tag, you can preview it, or you can delete it. Once you've saved the product, then you can go in and edit it. For right now, I haven't saved it yet, so you can't edit that. Um, and then we come down to pricing. So pricing is set up for uh, charge taxes on this product, there's the price, and compare price if it's on sale. Inventory, here's your skewed stock numbers and the barcode and track inventory or not. Now, when you are building out your first product, um, it's going to only allow you to do one variant unless you want to add variants in at this time. So if I want to add in some options, I can add in three, up to three options, so size, color, and material. And I can give them um, a general, um, I can give them the default information that we want. The thing with Shopify is you have to create these things from the beginning when you create the products if you want it to auto populate. So essentially it'll take all of the sizes, all the colors and all the materials and multiply them against each other and then it will generate out a uh, list. You can't do it after a product's been created. Um, so if I go small, medium, I think it, you have to hit enter after each one, yeah, medium and large. It's a much nicer new interface. Uh, color, we're going to have blue and red. And materials, we're going to have cotton and polyester. Okay, and as you can see, oops, cancel. As you can see, it's gone and built out my products down below. So we have all my small uh, blue shirts that are cotton polyester, all my small red shirts that are cotton polyester, my mediums that are blue, and my reds that are blue. So it builds out your variants down below now, so it's much easier for you to see. You can then go plug in your prices, your SKU, and the barcode, which is a new addition, which hasn't been in there before. So barcode has just been recently added for um, Shopify point of sales. 
The next big thing down at the bottom is the search engine list, uh, li listing preview. Uh, sh this shows you what it's going to look like when it comes up on Google. So what you can do is you can go edit and you can see what your title listing is going to show up when you go to the store. So um, you can go and say um, great shirt for outdoors and for sports. And you can build out your SEO there. Now you can actually see what it's going to look like uh, when it's in Google. Um, and below it is the URL handle. Uh, this comes into important if you're wondering where your handles are for your uh, products. This is where you would change that. So if we wanted to have it just short sleeve t-shirt, which is actually auto-generated and it's pretty good, we can go and do that. So then I'm going to hit the save product. And it'll go and update, update and upload everything. Once I've saved the product, that's when I can go in and I can change your variant images. So I can go and change the variant images for small, and I can pick one that I have uploaded. As well as for, say, the medium one. Some of the additional things that were easier to find on the previous page, um, one of them was weight in kilograms, um, is now been moved under the edit button. So if you hit the edit button, you can see it's now been put down to here for shipping. So some of those people that are doing shipping. There is also um, a back button that's been added to take you back at the top. Um, other than that, everything is the same features is all still here. It's just been reordered and changed around a little bit. The reason that they've gone and made this change is they're making it for responsive. So uh, for smaller screens like iPads and such, they only have a single design that works across all the platforms. So if you see, if you scroll this down, you can see that it works on an iPhone as well um, so that you can see everything within one screen. Um, then you get your side menu that's going out. They are going to be changing all of the pages uh, to follow this design um, so collections will be changing probably next and discount codes and orders and so on and so forth because they need to get to a responsive design with their application that's pretty much all there is for the new product page I will be back when they have updated some of the other stuff in Shopify